so here we have the 2021 Kia Soul. So as you can see, this has been redesigned. It looks vastly different besides its silhouette. It looks vastly different than the previous Kia Souls. So let's just, we'll do a quick walk around here. This is the LX model. So this is the base level. They do start around 20,000 and goes up from there depending on your trim level and your desired whatever packages it may come with. So this one we have here is about 20,000. Um, again, this is the LX, it's the base model. So it's the very base, basic one, which still looks cool. It looks just like the silhouette is still the same shape, but it's design overall has changed. So starting with the front, you do get these slim headlines, headlight, headlights here. So these look, they're kind of just the same size as this top, like gloss black type grill. And then down to the bottom of the bumper, you do get an, an interesting grill here, but they still keep the pinch nose, tiger nose design. Bottom, you got these massive, I think they're massive headlights or fog lights here. And then you got a nice hood design. So kind of like falls into the hood. So it looks good. Uh, this car does have a two liter uh, 147 horsepower engine. So the base model you do get you don't get um, actual rims. You do get these fairly nice hubcaps here. And if you upgrade a little bit, a couple more trim levels, you should get wheels and a different style of wheels. These are 205s, I believe. Yeah, 205s, 16 inch. Coming here to the side, um, you do get color matched side mirrors, a little bit of gloss black around the window trim. Um, but there's no silver. So I think it looks good. I like it with the black around the window or in this case, plastic. Uh, get a little Kia Soul bench there. Um, you do have to manually open it in, from the inside. Here you get this interesting tail light design that goes all the way around the top to the, from the left to the right. You do get a little gloss black here around the bottom of it, but I do like this interesting tail light design choice they did and then to open it might so it is hydraulic assisted lift gate and then back here you got all got a nice amount of space it's fairly it goes in pretty deep i don't know if this one comes with a cover that covers up this part but i think it does probably this one's just missing it because you do have this lips around the edge um yeah, so you get 101 cubic feet of space back here. So I think it looks good. As you can see on the interior, it's two-tone two design here. So it is like a beige on top with a black interior on the inside or on the bottom half, if you will. Um, but yeah, a lot of space back here, I would say. And these are 60-40 folding seats. So you can see they go down. They're not electronic or anything. They are just manual but they go down fairly easily. And like I said, I'm sure there's a, a cover that's supposed to go here. I just don't know if this one probably just doesn't have it for whatever reason, but that's the trunk. And then get the key fob here. So you do get this nice key fob, just standard key fob here. This car is not um, push to start, so you do get a key. So you get that little switch blade effect, you know? So this is the key fob, looks good. All right, so now we'll work our way to the passenger side. You do get a handle here to put the, to help you put this down. Little camera for the rear facing camera. We'll work our way to the back seats here. All right, let's just put these back. So we just have to knock them back and you're good to go. So uh, the door panels, uh, they look nice. It's like, it's hard plastic all the way around, except here you get a little padded. I like this, this little, plastic silver spot i think it looks nice and then if you let's get inside of the, the back seat here oh yeah a lot of space back here a lot of room my knees don't even touch the seat and this one is kind of reclined and pushed to the back but you do get a lot of room back here i say it looks good there's your visibility see the outside you got a lot of room here for your friend there is no center divider that can be a cup holder 
there is cup holders in the doors but no physical cup holders here or back here no usbs i'm sure if you upgrade a trim level or so that you'll get usbs and probably ac back here i'm not 100 sure but that's the back seat all right so that's the outside you do get this dual tone here so you do get it's beige up here and black all the way around the car um but yeah and then you get a cubby here not no outlets or anything everything's up front and that is the inside of the kia of the kia it looks great uh this does have cameras as you can put it in reverse has a little sticky tape um a little protective film that's why it looks kind of blurry but you do get trajectory and where the car is at it at the moment where, where it's going uh, emergency brake so the cameras are nice kia does a good job with the cameras i feel um but yeah everything looks good in here all right so final conclusions on the kia soul um if you're looking for a, a pretty entry level pretty roomy i don't know what this would be classified an suv crossover um i think this car does does what it needs to like i said it has a very fair entry point at seventeen thousand. again just depending on what trim and what packages you it comes included with um it does like i said it rides smooth i just drove it right now in the little parking lot that i'm in um it, it drives really smooth it's really responsive um obviously like i said it's not the fastest vehicle in the world if you do want the bigger engine or the turbo powered engine you do have to go up to the turbo which is a two liter i believe it's a two liter 201 horsepower engine um so that one i didn't get to i didn't get to check that one out today but that one does look good um obviously like i said there's more if you upgrade a couple trim levels you know you do get more features like the ambient lighting and stuff like that you know push to start and things along those lines this car has great safety features um like i said it drives really smooth it's really spacious so if you're looking for like a crossover but you don't want to spend a lot of money kia does do crossovers really well all the way to you know they have the Celtos, they have the sorrento which is more of a regular suv tell you ride Celtos, um sportage nero there's a there's a ton to choose from here at kia so you know check it out check out the kia soul it's a really nice little car like it said they did upgrade it and they did you know redesign it a little bit um so i think it was a great little test drive and a, a, a walk through so like i said check this one out again thank you for kia that to kia at van nuys here for letting me come out and review this vehicle um stay tuned for more comment down below what cars you guys want me to do next uh, if i get enough comments you know it helps me approach the dealerships like hey you know got a nice following here that people want to see more reviews of xyz car so again check me out on instagram facebook or not in facebook instagram at miguel car reviews i'm really active on there just you know give me a follow like this video and share it comment down below what you what you want to see next and until the next one peace